Sunscreen is a basic skincare step. The first step is cleanse, then you hydrate your skin, and you protect your skin with sunscreen. However, a lot of us are actually making sunscreen mistakes. And in this video, we'll be covering the top five sunscreen mistakes that you potentially might be doing, and it might be actually harming your skin. Now, before we continue with the video, guys, help us smash the subscribe button because it helps uh, the YouTube algorithm recognize our channel as a skincare education channel, and then you'll be shown more skincare beauty tips, not only from our channel, but from other channels as well. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Inky, your digital skin doctor, and welcome to SkinFix, the platform whereby we educate you everything about skin. Now, in this video, we'll be talking about top five sunscreen mistakes. Sunscreen is an important step in your skincare routine because what sunscreen does is it minimizes the damage caused by UV radiation on your skin. Now, the damaging effects of UV radiation on your skin is dehydration, premature aging, and as well as emerging sunspots. It also helps reduce the risk of skin cancers. And skin cancer is actually one of the top five to top 10 most, most common type of cancers all around the world. But you might be making a mistake with your sunscreen without you knowing. So here, ladies and gentlemen, is a list of the top five sunscreen mistakes that you might be doing. Mistake number one, you only apply sunscreen if you're going out of the house. We generally assume that we are only exposed to UV rays when we are outside of the house. Now, that is partially true. When you're out of the house, you are bombarded with a lot of UV radiation. However, the mistake is that you think that you're safe from UV radiation when you're inside the house. When you're in the house, you're still exposed to high degrees or high levels of UV rays, which comes in through the cracks in your doors and as well as your windows. Now, if you stay indoors and without sunscreen, what happens is the reflection of UV radiation that comes from opposing buildings and opposing cars gets into your room, gets into your skin, and then damages your skin. Hence, you should always apply sunscreen even if you're not leaving the house, even if you're, you're still in the house. Make it a habit to apply sunscreen every morning right after you've showered or after you've changed. And the best part is allow the sunscreen to set in 10 to 15 minutes before exiting the house so that your skin gets the maximum protection from your sunscreen. So remember, even if you're not leaving the house, you have to apply sunscreen. Second problem, you're applying too little sunscreen. There were studies done which shows that most people actually do not apply adequate sunscreen. So if you're applying something like an SPF 50, you end up applying so little that it only gives you an SPF 5 to 10 protection. Now, the reason for this is a lot of people think that just by applying a little bit of sunscreen is sufficient, or maybe the sunscreen that you're applying is a little bit too sticky or a little bit too uncomfortable for your skin, hence you only apply very little. The recommended dose of applying sunscreen just for your face itself is quarter of a teaspoon or roughly one ounce of sunscreen. However, if you want to make it easier to apply sunscreen, apply two finger lengths. That means that you put your sunscreen from the top of your finger all the way to the base of the finger, two fingers, which is your index and your middle finger, and then apply this only on the face. This should be able to give you sufficient protection from, from UV radiation. Now remember, do not be stingy with sunscreen. Quarter of a teaspoon or two finger lengths of sunscreen every day. All right, guys, before we continue with the video, which sunscreen are you using right now? At this moment, let me know in the comments below. Mistake number three, applying higher SPF means that you can stay in the sun longer. When I was growing up, there was a myth around sunscreen. An SPF 35 means that you can stay up to 35 minutes in the sun. And the SPF 50 means you can stay up to 50 minutes in the sun without reapplying. However, this is actually false. Now, the SPF rating shows how much of, of sun it actually blocks. So I'll give you a simple context. An SPF 35 blocks roughly about a 97% of all UV radiation. An SPF 50 blocks 98% and an SPF 100 blocks around 99%. So it does not actually correlate to how long the sunscreen can last on your skin. Now, all sunscreen lasts roughly the same amount of time duration, 
which is just a couple of hours. Now, the longer you stay in the sun and longer, the more sweat you produce, the shorter duration the sunscreen can last on your skin. There are studies that show people who apply SPF 30 on their skin stay out in the sun 20 minutes or longer, more than someone who have applied SPF 15 on your skin. Now, the problem with this is when you apply a higher percentage of sunscreen and you stay out longer in, in the sun, it, you are at risk of getting sunburn, sun damage, and at the same time, developing skin cancer. So remember, a higher SPF is good, but you need to reapply your sunscreen every two to three hours. Mistake number four, you rely on sunscreen in your makeup or in your moisturizer. Nowadays, there are tons of moisturizer and makeup which comes with its own SPF rating. Now, I know a lot of people go, yay, I can now skip my sunscreen step. Now, this is actually false because the SPF rating is actually based on the measurement of a quarter of a teaspoon. It means that in order for you to get the particular SPF which is stated on your moisturizer, you need to apply a quarter of a teaspoon of moisturizer on your skin. And that is the same with makeup as well. However, most of us only apply a little bit of moisturizer and just a teeny tiny bit of makeup on the skin. And because of that, it gives you very little SPF protection. And the SPF in your moisturizer and your makeup is not water resistant, means that the moment you have, you have a little bit of sweat, it actually washes off. Now the best way around it is even though your moisturizer and your makeup already contains SPF, please apply sunscreen over the top because you want the maximum protection for your skin. A quick question to all of you there, at what age did you start applying sunscreen? For me, I started really late at the age of 30. Let me know in the comments below at what age you started applying sunscreen. And the final thing is you assume that an expensive sunscreen gives you better protection. There's a very famous saying, you get what you pay for. Now, in terms of sunscreen, not really. Now, the most important thing of a sunscreen is the SPF factor, means how much sun it actually blocks, whether it's a physical sunscreen, chemical sunscreen, or a hybrid sunscreen, and last of all, whether it is suitable for your skin. So the price of the sunscreen doesn't really matter. A cheap $5 SPF 50 sunscreen works as well as an expensive $100 SPF 50 sunscreen. Now, the most important thing is you have to apply them consistently and remember to reapply them in the afternoons. So if you're price sensitive regarding your skincare product, you can always swap out the more expensive sunscreen for a cheaper one because it works roughly the same. Okay guys, that's the end of the video. Let me know in the comments below which other sunscreen mistakes that I've missed out and maybe you can cover them in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe, click the like button and at the same time, turn on the bell button because we release new videos on a weekly basis. Now that's it from me, I'm Dr. Inky, your digital skin doctor and remember to stay safe, stay healthy and most importantly, stay informed. Are you tired of wasting time and money on your skin but nothing works? We are here to help. SkinFix is a platform that provides personal care education completely free. SkinFix is run by skin doctors and skincare experts. You can chat and consult with our skin doctors without ever leaving your home. Other than free advice, SkinFix also provides tailor-made solutions for your skin problem with customized medical-grade skincare delivered right to your doorstep. SkinFix, your digital skin doctor.